Welcome everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout... Uh, not Tactics, Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. Uh, good news! Like I said in the description of both uh, the previous two episodes, I figured out the problem. It was basically Windows thinking that, um... Well, that the game stopped, um... You know, working when uh, the combat turns were taking. And of course, Windows has the nasty habit of just, well... Not even bothering to see if anything is going on with a with a program then. Um, especially if you click your mouse button, then it just makes everything grayed out and says, Oh, it's not responding. Would you like to wait? Yes, that's what I'm doing. Ugh. Anyway, we've killed the uh, Dernus, the main super mutant guy. And he's, ooh, he's got another power fizz that I would like to take. Those things are quite nice. I mean, I guess it's going to stay here, but... So we've got his plasma cannon, which is pretty insane. I mean, uh, it requires eight strength and a half, and it uses microfusion cells. Now, considering it does so much damage, of course, it doesn't have the range of the laser rifle, and the laser rifle also uses microfusion cells. I'm going to do this combination probably. Well, actually, hmm. Uh, this for longer ranges because it uses small energy cells. Um. 42. Yeah, it doesn't do that l much less damage than the laser uh, rifle. A little less. Uh, but also, but it uses small energy cells, which is preferable because I would like to keep the microfusion cells for the plasma cannon. Of course, I do have... Well, I don't have that many. I have a lot of energy cells. <clears throat> so anyway, is there anything I would... I can just get rid of? Not really. I don't have that much space here and for well I guess a sniper rifle I could leave behind because I believe the power fist is more expensive than the sniper rifle but I'm not sure like usual um I'm not really sure about these things now let's see if they attack us hello hello dead body oh lots of stuff okay nothing going on this is an automated gun turret with with, uh, with a dual plasma cannon. Ouch, if it's this thing, then it hurts. Apparently, they're not attacking us. Hello. No. Okay. That's fine. There's Oh, there's another guy in there. Uh, Vatras. Is he going to attack us? I'm assuming he is. No? Oh, yes, he is. Okay. Ow, flamer, flamer. And no power fist. Now, let's see how this thing works out, shall we? Let's go for the head. Yeah, that's uh, 128 critical. Of course, it was a critical, but uh, pretty nice. What? Hostile creatures, where? I don't see anything. Oh, the turrets? I guess it... Ow. I, I, I just bit my tongue. That was not nice. Ow. How did I do that? Oh, he's got an ultra stim pack. Flamethrower uh, fuel mark two. Oh, he's also got a flamethrower mark. He's got a modified, yeah, improved flamer. Let's see what it says. A flammable, uh, a, fl a flambe 450 model flamethrower. Uh, Varmeter variation? Fire is a short spray of extremely hot flammable liquid. Requires specialized fuel to work properly. This model has been modified to fire a hotter mixture, which causes greater combustibility. Um, Alright, let's see what's on here, even though we really don't have the space. And then we can go down there. I'm guessing there's gonna be even more super mutants there, but we'll see. <clears throat> Alright. Let's get in there, see if we can uh, actually get in there. Now that's the that's the bad side about having a big weapon like this. He constantly has to take it out and put it back in. Okay. Right. Let's uh, let's save here just to be on the safe side, shall we? Uh, I'm just checking if I'm actually recording this side and not the other one. <laughs> that would be that would be stupid. Now, this goes down one level, but I'm assuming there's going to be another elevator going down several other levels. Yeah, there's more super mutants down here. Quite... Actually, yeah. There's no other levels. Who's this guy? A ghoul. You see a ghoul. He was apparently tortured for a long time. He looks like he is going to die soon. Interesting. There's a computer here. 
Hmm. I like the, the bloop, 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 bloop. it's like uh it's like it's a laboratory. I was kind of expecting more here, but uh, hey, not a problem. We're just going to take these guys out because we have a plasma cannon. Ah, I'm Arnold. All right, let's start this with a nice. Ooh, not very accurate over. Oh yeah. Whoa. Okay, then 130, just like that. I like it. Um, it is dark over here, so we're getting, you know, we're getting uh negative modifiers for that. Ah, he's gonna be able to shoot us. Yep. Ouch. In the back. Ooh, not very good here. Let's get behind here. Reload this. Hello. Oh. Okay. Hello. It's not enough. Oh, he's got a laser rifle. Ouch. That hurts. I'm at one hit point. <laughs> Darn it. That's annoying. Where's my stim packs? There they are. Right at the bottom. Let's also reload our uh, thingy. Now, that was really unlucky. I don't think I'm going to need more, though. Uh, right. Microfusion cells. Now, I don't have enough to fire this, but I might have enough to fire this. 31. Ow. Four. That's good. Please damp you out, little human. Oh, he's got still quite a lot. All right, let's go for a nice little eye shot. Ooh. No? 27. That's not good. Ow! That was another critical. How much? Eight. Oh, well, it's not too bad, but I'm not very happy about that at all. Come on, Plasma Cannon. You were pretty amazing before. Now you're just, I don't know, fooling about. Go for the head. There you go. 55 hit points, hurting the mighty mutants. Oh, no, 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 no. no damage. I love that. It's point blank, bloody minigun, and no damage. 28. We masters, children. You nothing. All right. That's fine. That's so cool. 130. Uh, let's see. Whoa! Lots. Oh, I can actually take it? Seriously? There we go. Now I'm at maximum. I would like to take the laser rifle as well, but. Uh, wait, I've got two pulse pistols? Where did I get two pulse pistols from? What? I'm confused. I could just get rid of the 223, but I think I'd rather stash it somewhere in a city, maybe. Wasn't there another super mutant here? I guess there wasn't. Oh, God. Okay, let's get rid of this just so we don't have to watch the animation all the bloody time. I have a feeling there's going to be some kind of a... Uh, some kind of a booby trap here somewhere. The computer appears to be operational, but you can't work with it because all the monitors are broken. There is a holodisk attached to it. Judging by a shining green control light, there is some data stored in it. Let's take it. What is this? A holodisk from the mutant hunter's forward base. I don't think they'll like this, but there we go. Uh, let's see what it is. Downloaded disk data. And we've leveled. Excellent. Written by Colonel Parson for Emperor Aaron's Eyes Only. Wait a second, this is not it. It's this one, right? Report. Report from the Forward Base 4Q 2169. Tenrida, Commander of the Forward Base. Mild rebirth activity in our area, which began in February of this year, still persists. Once again, we came across several units heading towards the north and northwest. The ghouls are after something, but whatever it is, it's not in this area. We have completed the last batch of Dr. Yautzen's tests on our test subjects. I will attach a second holodisc with the results. We do not have any more test subjects right now. Although I have uh, to thank Yautzen for the excellent show I got from the reactions the mutants had to this substance, it is not suited to practical application because it took them too long to die. The scouts have caught a lone rebirth ghoul in the wastes. Due to the previous failures in gathering information, I'm going to take care of this tomorrow interrogation 
care of this tomorrow interrogation personally, okay. After 4 hours and 22 minutes of interrogation, the ghoul finally started talking. He gave us a lot of important and serious information. The Rebirth has a base in Vault Tech Research Complex, which contains a machine capable of regenerating tissue, and which is thus able to transform even a ghoul into a pure human. However, the procedure requires donors from among the genetically pure humans. This is the reason for the re- this is the reason for the rebirth raids on human towns and villages. It sounds ridiculous, but it is the truth. I made sure that the ghoul would not be able to lie to us. How? Of course, mutants cannot really become truly pure humans. Not even such advanced pre-war technology can do the impossible. The transformation is only temporary. Uh, after some time, depending on the genetic purity of the donors, the organism collapses and the body literally falls apart. But the rebirth is led by a madman called the Savior. He let himself be transformed as the first and is keeping a large part of the rebirth in the belief that the machine works as imagined, and a smaller, more informed part in the belief that the machine is malfunctioning and they must find out how to repair it. And for that, all the ghouls are willing to fight for him. The interrogated ghouls were not, uh, was not able to tell us the numbers of the rebirth ghouls, but he confirmed that the, uh, they keep increasing as evidenced by our observations. For now, they only transform one mutant a year. Okay. Thus, pure humans die mainly as a result of heinous experiments meant to help uh, help fix the machine. The last transformed mutant, the 13th Reborn, as they themselves call him, discovered part of the truth and managed to escape. That's the reason for the increased activity of the rebirth in the north, as they are looking for him. His capture would certainly be useful to us. However, he looks like a normal, pure human. He is only recognizable by his vault jumpsuit with the number 13 on it, signifying the order of his transformation. Unless he got rid of it, it is also possible that he already died as a consequence of the transformation. However, it is more important to attack the base of the rebirth as soon as possible to stop their atrocities. I managed to gain not only its location, but also information concerning how to get inside without a fight. The security measures are weak, the mutants could not handle anything difficult. It is enough to mask one's appearance, for example by wearing a robe or a suit of power armor, and use the password NEW LIFE and show their talisman to identify oneself. Coordinates for the rebirth base, location recorded in the map. Given the importance of these findings, I'm sending a, a group with my report to Albuquerque's tomorrow, instead of the usual date. The main base was informed of our success during the interrogation by radio. Sending the report will have to wait. Our scouts have discovered a group of super mutants heading to our position. We will need every last man, and I also don't want the report to fall into their hands by accident. Good job. As soon as we take care of the super mutants, I will head to Albuquerque with the report personally. One of my men, Colin, tried to run away to avoid the battle. I shot him. The super mutants will attack soon. They're not intelligent enough to use tactics besides simply throwing themselves at us. We will handle them easily. I thought you said you needed every man. Also, I'm confused. If this is such a well-guarded secret about the um, machine malfunctioning, how could they have, you know, gained this information from this ghoul? He must be an important one, then. Or maybe he's the number 13, but no, they said no. He wouldn't be turned back into a ghoul, he would be turned into mush. Alright, I need more energy weapons, please. Please, please. Clocks. Thank you. I'm gonna keep that one skill point. There we go. No perks, unfortunately. Let's go talk to the ghoul. See if we can actually help him. And then kill him. What does its terminal do? Will it turn on the force fields? No. It'll do nothing. Well, let's, uh, let's save this. The ghoul is severely beaten and he's got some open wounds. He must be suffering with immense pain. Isn't a ghoul basically all one open wound? He looks familiar to you. Maybe you know him or somebody like him. Oh, it's probably one of the ones that uh, tried to kill us. Wait a second. We are the ghoul, aren't we? Do I really see you or is this a dream? Ugh. My friend, I guess I never really thought that I'd ever see you again. I'm happy that we can meet again, and especially that we can talk. What are you talking about? Do you know me? Don't you recognize me? Has it been such a long time, or did the hunters rough me up that much? <coughs> it's me, Thomas. Thomas, your friend. I got caught with a huge blow to the head, and I lost my memory. I could barely recall my own name. Um... Even so, that doesn't mean any ghoul can convince me that he's my friend, yeah. 
You forgot everything? You don't even know who you are and what's going on? <gasps> They're trying to kill you. The rebirth is going after you. But you are still alive. I'm happy for that. Yes, they were trying to kill me, but I didn't give them any chance. If they continue to go after me, I'll eradicate all the ghouls from the rebirth. Who are they? What is this rebirth? The rebirth is... <coughs> or at least should be the salvation for all ghouls. It's still being joined by a lot of people marked by radiation. Its numbers are still growing. The rebirth promises them whatever single one of them wishes for the most. But never dreamed would be possible. What is it? In the main rebirth base, a pre-war research facility, there's a machine that can cure tissue damage by radiation. It can turn a ghoul into a normal, healthy human. But it's not that simple. For each one of those reborn ghouls, one or more donors are needed. Donors not so affected by radiation. That's why, that's why the rebirth raids towns and villages, plunders them, and takes away their inhabitants. What do I have to do with all that? You are the evidence, evidence of all that. Metal, you are the 13th Reborn. You fought for the rebirth. You used to be a ghoul before you entered the machine and became a healthy human again. <coughs> At least for some time. You don't like what he says, but you can't get rid of the feeling that it's the truth. It's indicated by the memories that are starting to surface, but you can't get a hold of any of them. You can't recall anything specific, even if you try persist- oh. That was all just description. <laughs> that wasn't him talking. But that... You forget everything, so listen well. I was in a group that knew about the machine from various records and from our own past before the war. We searched for it with a desire to become normal humans again. We were a bunch of scientists and their escort. We eventually found a place with the machine, but we weren't there first. The first was a man that nobody calls other than the savior now. He told us that he performed surgery on himself, transplanted vital organs and tissues from the frozen stacks of the research laboratories himself, that he entered the machine and became reborn. He was the first. The fact that he was able to do that all by himself was something so amazing that it was probably the reason he became our leader. Instead of us taking revenge on him when he told us that he probably damaged the machine during his treatment and thus delayed the rebirth for all of us. But you are... The machine doesn't work properly. <laughs> Only the most knowledgeable know this. Mostly the scientists who try to fix the machine. They try everything. They run tests on kidnap humans. Even I took part in some sick things. The rest of the ghouls of the Rebirth believe that they can be cured right now and we're just waiting to get enough donors to make them reborn all at once. For now, one ghoul a year is being reborn for all the rest to see that it's possible to still believe and be able to fight for it. That's how the Savior explained it. What is one sacrifice a year for the rebirth of all in contrast with those who die for the same thing in battle? But, my friend, these repaired bodies slowly deteriorate. They can withstand some time, depending on the quality of donors, but eventually the body falls apart and the reborn dies in pain. It's your destiny as well. I'm sorry. What? There's got to be something that can be done about it. I'm sorry, I never wished for you to be one, but the Reborn are chosen by the Savior himself. Officially, it's a reward for merit for the Rebirth, but who knows what he really bases his choice on. Actually, it may be partly my fault. You could see our friendship was a threat, since you, unlike me, didn't know that the machine doesn't work properly. It was awful for me to see you feel so honored and happy to be reborn, and even worse when it happened. Your enthusiasm grew greater and greater, no wonder you were once again a healthy human being, the fulfillment of what every ghoul uh, of the rebirth wishes for. I couldn't take it and told you the truth. At first you didn't believe me, but the evidence... Oh. But the evidence convinced you. Later, I almost felt bad for it, because I, it didn't change a thing about your condition. Yet without knowing what awaits you in the end, you could have at least lived happily. What happened next? You wanted to run away from everything. To live the rest of your days in peace, alone. I tried to talk you out of it, but then the Savior found out that you knew the truth and wanted to imprison you. In that case, you wouldn't be able to run away, so I helped you out. <coughs> Since then, I've only heard rumors about you from units that were searching for you. The Savior pronounced you a traitor who had to dis be disposed of mercilessly. He sent a lot of people after you. 
and even put the annual rebirth on hold. Nobody has stepped into the machine since you. Luckily, they didn't find out what I that I helped you escape. I only got into trouble for telling the truth. Their truth. Their truth? It's something you didn't know. Nobody knows. I investigated some more and I found out that... He goes silent from pain. One of the wounds on his head starts to bleed. He places a hand on it. What? What did you find out? The machine never worked any better. It simply can't. The degradation of tissue is inevitable. Nothing can be done about it. We're looking for a defect that doesn't even exist. We're trying to fix a machine that isn't broken. We didn't find any records about the machine, so we assumed that the computer was bugged or damaged. But the complex was shut down without any problems, without any damage. Somebody deleted the files, but I managed to save at least something. I found out that the savior is lying. How so? I don't know why. I have no idea what the, his deal is, but he couldn't have survived for so long had he transplanted tissues from the laboratory supplies. Maybe some people came along with his minimum, uh, with him, with minimum radiation damage. In that case, he could be alive even today. It might be the case. Anyway, he is destined to die of cell structure decay as well. I was trying to prove it to my colleagues, but of course, they didn't believe me. Much on the contrary. I lived in fear of being declared a traitor, so I ran away. I was hoping that I would find somebody who would be able to stop it. Maybe I was even hoping to find you. Is it even stop possible to stop the rebirth? You have to try, don't you understand? <coughs> they will continue to try to fix the machine to run tests on kidnapped humans, and soldiers of the rebirth will continue to kidnap more until they have enough to provide for the rebirth for everybody. And if they use the machine, they sacrifice their lives as well because they won't be able to survive for long. Their dedication is so strong that they can barely be stopped and they're still growing strong. The numbers of the rebirth are growing and they're able to acquire more deadly weapons. That's the sign of destruction for all humans, normals and ghouls. Uh, what, what we have we done? You have to stop it. I can't do anything anymore. You might. Why should I? What should I do? Kill the savior, perhaps. Well, no. That wouldn't stop them. You have to destroy their hope to stamp out their dreams to remove what they're fighting for. <coughs> you have to destroy the machine of the rebirth and the whole research facility to prevent anybody from trying something like this again. <coughs> we ghouls are destined to suffer. There's nothing to be done about it. Okay, ghoul, maybe you'll finally tell me how to deal with those ugly mutants instead of talking all this nonsense. How can I go on my own against the whole rebirth? I don't know, my friend. I'm sorry. You did what I, I did what I could, but this is it's not enough. You achieved a lot. You survived and got so far without even knowing who you are. Maybe you can do even something so impossible. I can only point you to the location of the rebirth base and give you some advice for how to get in without a fight. Tell me then. Show me the map. Here. With much effort and in obvious pain, he raises a handful of bruises and points to the map with only his un his only unbroken finger. If you show them the talisman of the rebirth and tell them the password, new life, they'll let you through. You just have to wear something that covers your whole body so they won't notice that you're not a ghoul. A robe of power armor, perhaps. A robe or power armor. During my escape, I hid my robe in a pile of stones near the entrance to look for more inconspicuous during my travels. Maybe you'll be able to find it. Now go. Don't waste your time with me. For I am nobody and I will die soon. I have some more questions. <gasps> Ask away. I hope I'll be able to give you some answers. Well, we'll we'll uh, definitely ask him more questions next time around. But darn it, we are the thirteenth ghoul, and we're actually a ghoul. And yeah, interesting. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, this is more enjoyable now without all the freezing and stuttering. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.